Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with my next video, and in this one we're taking a look at some Town Hall 9 P.E.K.K.A. attacks, or at least attacks that incorporate P.E.K.K.A.s, and it seems like, you know, we just won the battle against Go Wipe, uh, we really don't see that anymore, and then right now, boom, back to P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, so, it is a three-star strategy, it takes, you know, quite a bit of scale, so it's nothing uh, close to what Go Wipe was. Um, but it's interesting to see how the P.E.K.K.A.s kind of rebounded, at least at Town Hall 9, because it was gone for so long uh, from the meta of the game, uh, really ever since people started developing uh, after the HOG update how to deal with the heroes, you know, bring a golem, bring a kill squad. So it goes back years uh, to when people actually used P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, at least, you know, that I've seen at, uh, for a three-star strategy in some of the top war clans. So very interesting to see that kind of transition. Uh, but anyway, there might be a formal attack strategy video for this on this channel later. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of let the attacks go and we'll watch them together because I'm no expert at this right now. But I'm still learning because I always uh, enjoy seeing what Town Hall 9s are using, even though I'm a Town Hall 10. So let's get these attacks started. We have three of them to look at today. And as far as who created this attack, I can't say for certain that it was Anthony. Um, all I can say is that he was kind of the first person I saw using it within One Hive, uh, within One Hive Genesis, in our uh, clan family. So, you know, maybe he got it from someone else. Maybe he came up with it on his own. I don't think I've asked him, but um, as far as I'm concerned, he's kind of the person who brought it to Genesis either way. Uh, so, props to him for doing that. Uh, taking a look at this attack, though, Iceman dropping down a few baby dragons, then the Pekkas and the healers on them. So this is kind of like the HGHB thing. Uh, except you're using Pekka's instead of the Giants, still has the bowlers behind them, so HP, uh, HB, got it the first time there, there we go. Uh, that's what you would call this, HP, HB. Uh, works very nicely, has the Rage uh, to keep everything moving even quicker, up the damage, the healers get the Rage benefit as well, and the Pekka's are pretty good about staying inside the base for the most part. The Baby Dragons definitely help by creating the funnel, um, and you can see they're about to get through to that next compartment. This guy, it looks like doubled up on baby dragons in his CC, if I saw that correctly. Um, yeah, I think he did actually. So, uh, kind of interesting there, but doesn't matter a whole lot. The point is that the P.E.K.K.A.s are pretty much at full health. Has a few troops going to the outside. The Queen is going along the outside, but still has 10 hogs and a heal spell that he hasn't even deployed yet. Honestly, he might have even been able to three-star this base without the 10 hogs and the heal, but with them, it's going to be that much easier. Uh, just kind of flanks some of these defenses, crushes this base, and uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, these are the attacks from the WHF2 war. It's an arranged war that we're currently in. Um, it's, you know, kind of just got started, but we've already seen so many P.E.K.K.A. attacks at Town Hall 9. I wanted to show a few, uh, but you guys will probably see a lot more coverage of this war uh, throughout the weekend and into next week. So I uh, just wanted to get these out there ahead of time. But anyway, that's it. Three-star awesome attack to Iceman. Let's keep moving. We have Anthony, who, like I said, is a potential uh, father of this attack in a way. And he bring in a very interesting variation that actually has a small Laloon part to it. Has that one Lava Hound and the seven balloons. You'll see what they do in just a moment. But starts off with a baby dragon, which is always a great way to create the funnel. And I like how people are kind of just, you know, doing a cheap funnel when they can by dropping down just one like wizard to break the funnel, then letting the P.E.K.K.A.s kind of walk their way uh, to create their own funnel in kind of a way, if that makes sense. And uh, right here, the funnel's broken. So from there, they'll go right to the wall. Don't need wall breakers because those P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, pretty much two swings from each of them, and they are through that wall, on in there, getting the queen and uh, getting some of these defenses. And one thing I've mentioned this before, I think, but I just kind of want to reiterate how important it is. The difference between P.E.K.K.A.s and Giants, because they both have the same kind of front line role in this attack where they're out, they're getting uh, healed by the healers, and they're doing the tanking for the most part. The difference between the P.E.K.K.A.s and the Giants is that the Giants, um, a spring trap will toss them, you know, a queen uh, attacking one of them, even with the healers, will kill one usually. Um, there's just a, a number of things that can kill a giant, and you can never recover the health because the giant is dead. But with the P.E.K.K.A., it could lose half its health, which is probably the health of like two giants. But the thing is, it can get healed back up during a period of time where it's not taking damage. So you can recover the health 
Uh, whereas with the um, the Giants, you can't recover the health sometimes because the Giants dead. So that's it. It's over. But the Pekka's. Um, they can get low, but if they get out of the range of a lot of defenses, they can get healed all the way back up. So that's a big difference. Um, but you can see there, came in on the left side with the Lava Hound and the Balloons. Pretty much just took a nice little stroll over the left side of the base. Crushed it on that side and still has quite a few troops up at the bottom here. And uh, you can see has all three P.E.K.K.A.s still alive, which is, I think, kind of a testimony to what I was saying. That the P.E.K.K.A.s can get low, they can take a lot of damage. But it's hard to kill a P.E.K.K.A. because you have to have constant damage going at it. Um, especially with those healers, you have to have a constant stream of damage going on it for a sus sustained period of time. Otherwise, the P.E.K.K.A. will get healed back up, especially when you drop the Rages to keep the healers uh, healing even faster. So anyway, that's just one of the benefits of using P.E.K.K.A.s uh, for this attack. So uh, going down one, we'll look at one more. And this is kind of a Baby Dragon P.E.K.K.A. combo. You can see he has eight Baby Dragons. Uh, so really loading up on those. Drops down a few for the funnel here. Um, also, when there's no air defenses, they'll get in there and get a few defenses, like the mortar and the cannon. So it gets kind of double value for them. Uh, but anyway, right here, he's going to come in with the P.E.K.K.A.s, just come at this hero compartment. Um, they do get a little bit clumped up here, so he loses some of the, the uh, bonus damage. But right there, they're split up again, and he gets the times two damage back. Uh, there go the P.E.K.K.A.s, though. Pretty easy funnel uh, on the other side of the base there. Uh, they'll take out that king in just a few swings. I like the poison on the queen and like that one wizard from the CC uh, to slow it down, keep those P.E.K.K.A.s um, alive a little longer. Uh, that one baby dragon is coming down from the CC as, long, as well as a few Valks, but they'll all get taken out by his kill squad. Bowler's making their way in um, nice and early. They'll get funneled into the base. That first rage, a uh, good placement there, and uh, has that jump to let everything keep moving. Um, there's nothing really of importance on the left, just that wizard tower, which isn't a big deal. So uh, good good decision to drop the jump to make sure his troops go to the important part of the base there, especially with all the gaps in this base. Uh, sometimes you can't predict where they'll go. So that was a good use of the jump. Uh, but kind of sprinkling in these, ba these baby dragons around the outside of the base there, just taking out a few buildings at a time. Has the Is that the queen in the few bowlers that are peeling off to the left, but that's fine. The main force is still going up the center, has the P.E.K.K.A.s, has the healers on them, and even the Teslas can't do much to that P.E.K.K.A. Uh, because it has those raged healers on it. Uh, so they're going to keep moving through the base here. Baby dragons all around the outside. Uh, there is that one air defense that's still up. Um, unfortunately, the bowlers and the queen kind of went to the other side, so they have to go through the wall to get to that air defense. But right there, uh, they'll get on it. Still has a few baby dragons. Uh, the queen's ability, uh, which he actually misses, it looks like. Uh, but still has plenty of troops to get the job done. Uh, those healers are very good at the end game when there's not a lot of defenses left up because the the defenses can't really overpower it unless they're in any kind of numbers, uh, which they're not. So awesome attack to Richie, getting the job done here against this base. And that's going to conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you Town Hall 9s out there um, can incorporate some P.E.K.K.A.s into your attack strategies because they seem to be working pretty well right now. And I suspect that by the end of the war, we'll have a solid, maybe even 10 attacks that use P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, still hard to tell, but our Town Hall 9 is doing a great job so far. So anyway, uh, you guys will see more of the WHF2 war, uh, like I said, over the next few days. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sector Tron out.